good morning children we shall continue the eighth chapter it applications i've told you how uh, the information about government to citizens government to government government to business and let's continue i'll share the screen with you so we had done government to business and i had uh, showed you a picture showing how the key points of mr modi how he wants to make india's economy grow so economy grow so here he said that the whole thing should be done on a digital uh, it should become digital india india as the innovative hub next generation infrastructure enhancing ease of doing business and reviving manufacturing uh, revive manufacturing i've already explained about all these things to you let's see the next one which is government to employee or g to e that is you are an employee and what uh, what help do you get from the government let's read the different things that we would benefit from the government e governance to employ uh, partnership is one of the four uh, major or the main um, primary interaction um, it's a delivery between a model of uh, interaction between the government and the employees it's a relationship between online tools everything you are able to do um, with the help of the government online the sources and articles that help our employee to maintain communications between the government and his own company so it is a relationship between online tools sources and articles that help employee maintain communication between the government and their own companies what are such type of things what ty what type of things uh, show us that we have the relationship between the government and the employees or through your company first one is e pay you're getting your salaries and everything online so everything is done on online transaction it ge automatically generates into your bank account so a payroll or e payroll maintains the online source to view paychecks payables and keep records of your tax information also so as you paying even the government has an information about how much salary you're getting and how much money is being cut for your tax towards tax so all these things are done online that's why modi opted for all things to be done online transactions so payrolls are maintained online you can also view how much money is there in your bank what how much money is deposit everything can be done online then e benefits what is e benefits you are able to look at what benefits an employee is receiving you have many benefits you get your pay slip you get all the benefits also through your uh, online banking and all you see what are the benefits that you are receiving and what benefits you can access because you have a right to, to access many other benefits um, which are given by the government so all these things uh, what benefits an employee should be receiving he can see all of it and what else can he access and what else more rights can he have also can be you know given to you over the internet the bank gives you so many informations saying that you can do this you get this benefit and that benefit what is e training you see many people go in for uh, jobs and they need to be trained so the government gives them uh, a one convenient location where they can be trained for uh, you know understanding or learning about new materials to develop their technological uh, view so this is what is e training so e training allows for new current employees that is a new employee current or working employees to regulate maintain the training that have through the development of new technologies so government gives them the free training and they allow new employees to train learn over new uh, materials in one convenient location sometimes they gave even the companies uh, access to come and make their employees attend certain type of um, you know like workshops even teachers do have a workshop where they train the teachers how to you know uh, develop new techniques of teaching children this is something that is called e training there are other examples uh, an employee can benefit one is the esi employee uh, benefits 
ESI where you get these health uh, benefits. You can get, um, you are paying some money from your salary towards the ESI and you can go and have a free checkup, free health checkup, free medicines and so on. So you get even all this comes under health insurance. And other examples are e-learning, as I already told you, how people are even studying, I'm sorry, working and studying. So the government gives them training online, provides all employees with a comprehensive retirement benefit. As soon as a person reaches 58 and 60 uh, for government employees and they get different benefit packages. This is termed as Federal Employment Retirement System or FERS. First, this is called as also called as retirement pension so that instead of getting the regular salary, they get pensions as their salary staying at home. Some people also have to take voluntary retirement. That is before 60, sometimes they get some health issues and they have to take voluntary retirement. So such medical grounds, the government also provides them with certain pensions. And senior citizens, once you retire, you become a senior, senior citizen. Senior citizens get a lot of benefits. They get a lot of discount on many of the things. Like if you're traveling by bus, train, uh, by aeroplane, you get just half the rate to pay. This is senior citizen benefits, and there are many you can check on the net. There are also unemployment benefits, like people who are physically handicapped. They cannot do any work. The government gives them like a pension or like a salary to them. So people like physically handicapped, mentally retarded people, children, old age people who cannot longer work, like uh, people who are, uh, you know, um, uneducated people and then they work in the fields or some uh, type of job, servant's job or your other, they can always opt for these old age pensions where government gives them this uh, some money to uh, provide for their food. They also get uh, other things like uh, you get the ration, which is a white card where they get uh, all the things very, very cheap. The food items very cheap. That is rice, dals and so on. Then you, the all government employees, they have a security, uh, uh, security for their um, job security they have. That is, till 60 years, nobody can remove them from their job unless they have done some malpractice like taking bribes and all, then definitely they lose their job and they don't get a job anywhere. So this is job security. Uh, then this is about government to employees. Hope you understood. You have e-learning, this is very important for you children. E-learning is learning done over the computer. That is you connect to the network, the internet, and then you can access all the type of training programs for learning your studies. Even right now you're at home. You're having virtual uh, classes, right? Online classes, virtual classes, where your teacher's not present. You're just seeing through the computer. So this is called a virtual class. You have it even being done on the TV, right? Many of the channels are training children to learn different subjects. You can check on your TV. This is also government has uh, seen that the training is done through your cable network. Yeah. So e-learning is over the internet is learning done by the computers. So this is for children who are working and also want to study and upgrade themselves. They don't get it now on the TV, of course. It is you children because you're school children, but the others who are employed, they do e-learning over the computer. Then it gives us the opportunity to, to learn almost anywhere, anytime. There's no hard and fast rule that you, like how you have to come to school exactly by 8.30 classes start till 3.30. You don't have that system when you are learning online. You can learn anywhere, even if you're at your office, and the office timings are over, you're just uh, uh, one hour, you want to just look through your lessons, you can just look for it anywhere in your friend's house or anywhere at any time. Because the training program is a recorded program over the in, uh, internet and you can just access it. E-learning is, del is delivery of learning. That is training or educating. It's an educational program done over the internet. It's called an electronic means of teaching children. So these are the three things that you have in e-learning that is learning done over the computer when you're connected to the network. Next thing, it's given opportunities to learn from anywhere at any time. Third is you, the teaching is delivered so that you can learn, you can train yourself and you can educate, you can get through all these things through the 
educational programs which is called through an electronic mean that's your internet what are the advantages of learn e learning e learning you you can link various resources in several variety formats so different ways you can check for different information over the net it is efficient way of delivering courses online so you have many trainers to train you so this is the best way and efficient way to uh, you know put the different types of courses that you are learning online it is very convenient very flexible resource are available anywhere at any time so you can read all these uh, uh, teachings or uh, lectures it is convenient you can take it at any time listen to it at any time it's flexible flexible in the sense you can just uh, rewind play and many things at any time anywhere part time students and people working full time can take advantage of the web based learning so this is called a web based learning and people who are start uh, working and also want need to upgrade themselves in their studies can take up this type of job and sometimes people who are working full time they cannot go to a college they can study through these online classes or what is called e learning classes web based learning promotes active and independent learning you don't need the teacher to keep shouting at you and telling you anything it's an independent and active type of learning and you can access it 24/7 that is any time of the day or night you can access and train yourself anytime from anywhere it is very convenient and flexible option as you don't have to depend on anyone for anything suppose even one day you're absent in the class you lose lot of the lecture you have to go and ask your teacher to explain it to you again but here how it is it's very flexible you don't have to depend upon anyone because you can access it at any time any at anywhere because it's always there and it's a recorded information you can train yourself on a day to day basis like the weekends sometimes you don't have time because you work throughout the day in your office weekends you can train yourself or day to day also you can train yourself with your studies and whenever you have a free time there is no hard and fast rule that you should learn at a particular time you can learn any time on e learning um, classes through the discussion boards and charts you are able to interact with one another there are so many other children who are also sometimes you have uh, a meeting and then uh, you have all the children coming together at that time you can see the different um, discussions they have and uh, you can interact with many people and so you are able to clear your doubts through these online classes and the video training that is provided can be rewound you can rewind and play rewind and play repeatedly till you understand the lesson right now this is something which is put on the youtube you can listen to it how many times you want till you understand what i have taught you so this is something which is very nice e learning is very nice you are not able to if you are not able to understand a topic for the first time you can rewind and play it again or you can access the link and listen to the whole lecture again so what is the disadvantage of e learning so we have so many advantages but there are a few disadvantages first and for all most online assessments they are limited questions you don't expand and you know make your uh, ideas uh, you know go further to realize many things so reason out and realize and reno uh, reconstruct new uh, information so like this it's a limited question so only objective mostly they are all all objective type of question there is also a problem of uh, security for online uh, learning programs because sometimes when you are online uh, somebody can hack all your information whatever you are uh, putting and sending to your you know lecturers or anything or your computers they can hack it so there is a problem there is a problem of authenticity on online uh, is just about anyone can do the project rather than the actual student itself here what is happening you are not doing the project and uh, you can just access any other projects because so many projects they'll be showing you can just access it you may not be doing the actual student is not doing but the projects can be just taken and then given as a assignment as your assignment and you get the marks so that is another problem the fourth problem is the assessment that are generally marked are generally only knowledge based and not necessarily practically based so you are not uh, you know uh, going through it so deeply is just knowledge based you are just gaining knowledge and just writing your uh, assignments and your exams understood e learning 
Next is e-commerce. E-commerce is nothing but buying and selling products online. So it's a transaction that you buy products. You know where how you buy buy your products. You're buying it through Flipkart, from Amazon, and so many other online sellers. Okay. So e-commerce is a transaction of buying and selling online. Electronic commerce draws on technologies such as mobile commerce. electronic fund transfer supply chain management internet marketing and online transaction process all these type of uh, things or services are done through the electronic commerce commerce you know that you are uh, mobile commerce right? over the phone only you are doing that electronic funds and transfer you are transferring uh, um, on, uh, online only you put your money transaction and buy your product supply chain management and so on Okay, e-commerce transaction include the purchase of online books. You are buying online books also. You have Amazon, right? And other uh, things that give you these online books. You have music. You can purchase music also. You can download. That is, you can download music, and um, in the form of digital dis uh, distribution. You have iTunes, Apple iTunes. You can just from Apple, you can take iTunes, and then you can just download any songs that you. want and then you can store it even in the cloud advantages of e-commerce because everything is there on the net you can see so many different type of car, um, you know products and you can see which is the best one and buy it so fast buying and selling procedures are very easy to find products and buying and selling 24 hours of the day all through the day and night you can just buy or sell any products more an easy way to reach customers because if you have to go you have to go to the shop search so many things this is the most easiest way to reach the customers no there is no limitations that only from this area can buy there is no geographical limitation from any part of the country any part of the world you can buy products okay low operational cost and better quality of service you don't have to uh, because when you are doing all these things you're not going to pay for uh, you know accessing their uh, you know their websites or anything there <clears throat> so here you don't have any operational cost and uh, qualities uh, um, the services also are free for you and if you had gone to the shop you have to go in the uh, car or a bus or an auto you need to pay put petrol and so much of and search for products so then that is a big um, you know the risk eating to the no need of physical company setup now here if you are going to do all like amazon and sell your products online you don't have to you know maintain one big go to you know go, you know beautiful uh, like how you have these malls like chennai malls and so many other things you have these chennai uh, dressing shops and sari shops and many other malls and all they have to maintain the decorum of the shop but here if you are going to sell all the goods online nobody is coming to your shop to check whether you are putting nice lighting and everything is packed properly put properly in the shelf no need of all these things you just you don't need a physical setup of a company okay like you can see the showrooms they have all those things set up you can just have them in a go down and just sell them out okay easy to start and manage a, min, a business in e-commerce okay customers can easily sell products from different providers without moving physically you can sell it through amazon you can sell your products to flipkart and many other things so you can sell your products to different providers and uh, without moving physically just everything is done online so this is e-commerce what's the disadvantage of e-commerce you don't know which company is good which is company is bad sometimes you think oh beautiful you saw in a product which looks so good so there are people that can be good or bad and when they are starting the business so there can be a bad side mm -hmm. that don't sell good products and but they want to just have the customers money by owning their money there's no guarantee of product quality of course when you are on amazon and all if you don't like the quality you can just return it and get back your money so you don't have a guarantee of quality suppose you are bought something for somebody's birthday present and tomorrow is a birthday and you got that thing and you didn't like it you want to return it then so quality based that way sometimes you have a problem then mechanical failures can cause unpredictable effects on the total process so you have uh, you know ordered for that product but you don't get the product and that's there is a mechanical failure and they say no you have not registered your you have not ordered for your product 
sometimes money transactions can also have problems as there is minimum customer uh, to company interaction customers loyalty is always a check so you don't have direct uh, customer contact so definitely customers loyalty you, you, the person doesn't know you and then he may not be loyal to you and he may do something else hackers always look for opportunity people who are trying to hack your comp computers they always look for an app uh, opportunity to just get onto your uh, computers thus e-commerce site services payment gateway are all prone to attacks okay e-market is nothing but your e-commerce only e-markets you have different markets right are simply defined as websites where buyers and sellers interact with each other to conduct their transaction that is only e-market e-commerce also it's the same thing you have an interaction between the buyer and the seller or uh, they have interaction and then they quote their price and that's how it goes on how much uh, profit would they take for selling their products there's another thing that government does it's called case study case study is nothing but birth certificate generations that is generating your birth certificate so every citizen in india is expected to obtain a official document there are many different types of official document documents like birth certificate your election identity card you have many others you have aadhar card also so due to lack of awareness and less time people they miss out on many of these procedure documents so many people don't have aadhar card so many people don't have birth certificate so because of the they don't have uh, you know the idea of this internet and they lose on many thing because sometimes it's time constraint it takes lots of time some example is when a child is born in a hospital the details are sent from the concerned department of that hospital it's sent to the municipality uh, or to any local government agencies from there the this uh, you have to go to the government or the municipal corporation and obtain your birth certificate this is that's why there are some people who do not who are not aware of all these things okay since most of the offices have computer setups a special software solution could be used in inputting the information and generating the certificate so right now we have this system we have softwares where we can uh, send all the information about the child and everything to the government offices and they make the certificates the birth certificate is issued by the province or territorial government that is wherever you are born that Uh, state or that territory that area will produce the birth certificate for you is required as identification to apply for other important personal documents if you have your uh, birth certificate only you can get a seat in the school college or passport or wherever it is go outside the country so it's very important the information could be used for forecasting and planning activities so such things you can use <clears throat> to plan all your different activities related to health welfare measures and all these things according to your age a local information storage could be linked to the central database for higher levels analysis and planning so you can link your own information to the uh, central data if there is any other things uh, of planning for your health care and all they can do it so summary i think you should go through it e governance is a governance application for information and communication technology for delivering government services to different people to the people of the country e business is termed as electronic business and it is described for business to run on computers then e governance to employees partnership is one of the four main important primary you already learned how you are getting your payrolls and other facilities from the government e learning is like an umbrella it's termed as umbrella why because it describes learning done over the computer e learning is an umbrella term that describes learning done over the computer e commerce is a transaction between buyers and sellers e market is simply defined as websites where buyers and sellers both can interact with each other and they can conduct the transactions to tell what would be the what how much they spent for a product and how much profits would they get this is your worksheets e learning is a dash is an umbrella e learning is an umbrella yes now we do what transactions are done about buying and selling online it's e commerce and what is termed as described as business run on the computer it's e business dash is the online non commercial interaction between local and central is government to business dash is e commerce is simply commerce between private individual and consumer is consumer to consumer now 
they expand the full form ICT is information and communication technology G2B is government to business G2G is government to government G2E is government to employees G2C is government to citizens here are your question answers what is e-governance all these things information please go through the questions which I have put here then what are the advantages of e-learning I told you just now all those 10 points you put how you can link to various resources that you can get it a, a, your it's very convenient and flexible because you can study from anywhere any place part-time students it's very useful you can get the information 24 7 it's a web-based learning and when you have uh, nice workshops and all you can interact with each other and clear all your doubts and you can see the video as many times as you want till you understand the third question is what are the disadvantages of e-commerce because you don't know who's selling the product to you is a good person or a bad uh, company and you can get products which are not good also you have no guarantee of the quality that you're receiving sometimes there are mechanical failures and uh, there's no interaction direct interaction so you cannot check on it directly hackers are always there too you know you're prone to attacks of your uh, you know money balance or your bank balance what are the disadvantages of e-learning i told you it's only objective type uh, problem of sec sec security problem is there. You are not going to expand the per person. The student is not doing the project. Basically, is getting all the online information and giving assessment. Uh, just knowledge based. You are not going to do practical based. That's the end of your total tenth class portion. Submit all your books so that you can go in for your board exam. I want all the books. If not, I won't be able to give you your marks. Thank you for now. Have a nice day. Stay safe.